God requires you to destroy them. He requires you to destroy them. Literally. Deuteronomy 7, 16 through 20. You must destroy all the nations the Lord your God hands over to you. Show them no mercy and do not worship their gods or they will trap you. Perhaps you think to yourselves, how can we ever conquer these nations that are so much more powerful than we are? But don't be afraid of them. Just remember what the Lord your God did to Pharaoh and to all the land of Egypt. Remember the greater terrors the Lord your God sent against them. You saw it all with your own eyes. And remember the miraculous signs and wonders and the strong hand and powerful arm with which he bought you out of Egypt. The Lord your God will use this same power against all the people you fear. Don't fear them. Because, let me tell you why. Again, I'm going to read it to you again. I got pee -pee. Go ahead. The Lord your God will use the same power against all the people you fear. And then the Lord your God will send terror to drive out the few survivors still hiding from you. Okay? I'm going to read it one more time so you can... I really want you to get it. That you must destroy these people when the Lord hands them over to you. When the Lord gives you the keys to lock the door behind you. When the Lord gives you a way of escape. And he sets you apart. Do not allow them back into your life. Do not allow them back around your children. Do not allow them back. Do not allow them back inside of your business. Do not allow them in your personal space. Do not allow them in your vehicle. Do not allow them. Do not allow them. Do not allow them. Close the door. Destroy them. Separate yourself. God is going to show you exactly what to do, but he is telling you up front, destroy them, no access, cut it off, kill it, dead that thing, dead that relationship, dead that, don't visit that place anymore. No, do not be afraid of the, hold on, let me back it up. You must destroy all the Deuteronomy 7, 16. You must destroy all the nations the Lord your God hands over to you. Show them no mercy. No mercy. Show them no mercy. And do not worship their gods or they will trap you. Some of these people have already tried to trap you. They have already tried to keep ties connected to you. They have already tried to keep you in poverty, in bondage, always depending on them. They have already tried to send word curses and spells over your life saying you'll never be this. You'll never amount to that. You don't have this. They already try to mess with you mentally to keep you in the cycle of, of depression and sadness. No. Some of these people want to physically attack you. If they could take you off the face of the earth, some of these people want you dead. Hoping that you kill yourself. Hoping that you you just something happens and you go to jail. Hoping that you lose everything so that you be nothing. So that your rewards, your children, your finances, your whatever you have, your possessions can go over to them. Or that you just simply be wiped off the face of the earth listen to me god is not going to let it happen to you you must destroy them you must destroy them you must destroy all the nations the lord your god hands over to you show them no mercy and do not worship their gods or they will trap you perhaps you think to yourselves how can we ever conquer these nations that are so much more powerful than we are but don't be afraid of them remember what the lord your god did to pharaoh and all and to all the land of egypt we all know the story about pharaoh we all know we all know and it's a whole bunch of copycats around you right now mimicking the things that you do trying to take on your behaviors your business ideas your anything about you they're copying it trying to make it their own but god was with man god was with one group and the other just kept on trying to copy and mimic and copy and mimic but it was just some things they just couldn't do and that is how you know the lord is with you 
it's some things that these people just cannot do hmm. listen but don't be afraid of them just remember what the lord your god did to pharaoh and to all the and to all the land of egypt remember the great terrors the Lord your God sent against them. You saw it all with your own eyes. And remember the miraculous signs and wonders and the strong hand and powerful arm with which he bought you out of Egypt. The Lord your God will use this same power against all the people you fear. The Lord your God will use the same power against those that's trying to keep you in bondage. Those trying to keep your spirits down. The same power against those trying to find a way to seize what you have. Oh, man, the same power against those who have laid traps for you. Listen. It's going to come back on these people and they don't want to they will not understand what hit them. They think it's okay today. You can prophesy and say God is going to repay you back for everything you have done. You will answer for this. And they think you're lying. Where is this God of yours? God is on my side. God is not against me. God got... Some of these people got God rolling off their tongue so much and don't even understand that God is fed up with them. He see the fakeness. Listen. The Lord your God will use this same power against all the people you fear. And then the Lord your God will send terror to drive out the few survivors still hiding from you. Jeremiah 1.10 Today I appoint you to stand up against some nations. Some you must uproot and tear down, destroy and overthrow. Others you must build up and plant. Stay close to God because he's going to give you every plan that you need. He's going to he's going to direct your steps. He's going to show you when to go left, when to go right, when to uproot, when to plant. Listen, you must destroy these people. Lock the door. Close casket when it's time. Okay, understand that.